Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant A Plague Tale Requiem on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we finally reached the chapel where Aelia was taken all of those years ago. And we started doing a little bit of exploring inside of a cell. And we found this loose slab on the floor. And beneath it was a order symbol and one of Aelia's rings that she left as a hint for the next protector to find. And it was basically letting us know that the place that Basilius was taken to, the first carrier, was beneath the map that we've been using throughout this whole area in Lacuna. So we are now heading back to that map, that giant mural on the ground, and I guess we're gonna to have to break it open, and beneath it should be the last known location of Basilius. And then hopefully we can find out what happened to Basilius, see what the order did to him, and maybe even uh, find some sort of cure or something that could help Hugo with his macula. Now in the previous video, after we left the chapel, Milo got killed, a bunch of bandits attacked me, and we had another situation where basically Amicia lost her mind, started wiping everybody out, Hugo was watching her, encouraging her, and then Hugo came out and joined in on the action, summoned a shit ton of rats and wiped everybody out. We got told off by Sophia, but because of what Hugo did, we are now... The whole of Lacuna is surrounded in rats. So the beautiful Lacuna is now ruined, basically. But we're now gonna make our way back to the map. So let's get straight into things. I'm guessing we can use your uh, prism, Sophia. Oh yeah, we can, lovely. Sophia, open us apart. Stay with me. It shouldn't take too long to get back to the map. It's not that far away. Lights away for us. Everyone, you can let go. Fine. That's a bit far away. Can I transition from one light to another? Like if I, if I, uh, if I reflect from this one, Sophia, open us apart. Stay close to me. I might die now. Can I like switch to that one when it starts getting dim? Stay with me. Oh, it worked. I thought that was going to kill me. I mean, I've already done all of this off camera. I've platinumed the game now, but I seem to have forgotten so much in this section for some reason. And I only did it like, well, by the time you see this video, probably about two weeks ago. But at the time of recording, I did it like maybe like three, four days ago. And I seem to have forgotten it already. I don't know why. <laughs> I've just been very busy, Wolf and Wolfette. very busy. My prism isn't getting much light over here. Be careful. Oh, never mind. There's a haystack there. That could have ended horrifically. Stop now. Oh, look at this. I got it. These sneaky little chests that they purposely put here just out of sight so you miss it. Cheeky devils. Right, run, 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 run. I do like how they always make sure there's a chest there, just to make sure that you have the required supplies that you need for that section. <laughs> Sophia, open us apart. Everyone stay in the light. Oh, this is the place where we had to climb on the roof to open up the uh, door so we could get one of those tall chests opened. This is where they was having a nice little parade. Are we? It's over. Let's move. Come. Don't say that to the rats, Hugo. They're gonna be very offended because they love you a lot. <laughs> Sophia, lights away for us. Stay with me. Did you notice how they just blasted out the floor and completely took down the light though? It's very good that they don't bother doing that to me. Well, they, they don't do it to us because we've got Hugo with us. That's the only reason they don't do it to us, if you're wondering. This will stop. It's too late. It's all ruined. Are you going? That cart. Yes, it will protect us. There's something on the ground. A beam. It looks heavy. We need a way to move it. Oh, that's why they gave me a crossbow bolt. OK. 
Okay, and I'm guessing we need to use some tar. Oops. You can change between your... Uh... Oh, that didn't work. We shouldn't have needed to use that amount of supplies to get over it. But you can switch between your different ammos a lot more efficiently. I just keep doing it the slowest way imaginable. So, yeah, sorry about that, Wolf Morphettes. You literally just got to press left or right on the D-pad when you're using a weapon. But I keep going onto the tool wheel for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing it. I apologise. Oh, I'll take my uh, bolt then. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta leave that there. Gotta keep it. What the hell? Oh, what a waste. Close one. Oh, come on. That pisses me off, that does. What the flipping hell happened? I was right next to it. Oh, well, never mind. I don't use the pyrite very often anyway, so it's not much of a loss. I don't mess up that often, thankfully. Not trying to show off, but I don't generally mess up that much. <laughs> When it comes to like the rats and the puzzles and that, I mess up with the uh, human enemies though. We're getting there. The map. The carrier. He's the key. But it's so old. He's been dead a long time. There will be something left. Something to save you. I don't care about me. Don't say that. You're everything. Hey, will you stop torturing yourselves, you two? This is hell. Yes. But we've got a lead. So we stick together and see this through. She's right, Hugo. We've got nothing else. I know. And I'm sure there are survivors. Their palace is like a stronghold. True. It's the Count's duty to offer shelter to his people. Yes. He's a real knight. He's a real wanker. I look at this nice little circle on the floor. <laughs> and we conveniently stopped right here. Oh, look, there's another uh, bonfire over there. Come on. Is that an arrow? Oh, sweet. We're getting quite a few. Uh... Oh, that's why. <laughs> uh, why is it I can't just keep my uh, crossbow bolts? Oh no, we can keep the crossbow bolt. Didn't even notice that one. Can I reach that with my... Uh... Suppose we can... Open the way for us, Sophia. Stay close to me. I might not have even needed to do that. No, I didn't. Sophia, light the way for us. Stay with me. Stay close to me. Very nice. Up there. It's there. Oh. Now, this is not the normal route we take to the map, but this will work. There's, there's not normally a bunch of crates here for us. <laughs> normally you have to go around the other side. Get up now. Sure. That's a bit rude, isn't it, Amicia? Get up now. We're here. Finally. To think it was right under our noses. Now, Basilius. Where are you? Where do you hide your most valuable treasure? Underground? Yes. He has to be down below. Uh, the map could be the entry point. Are we breaking it? I guess so. Well, you already know how we're going to do that because there's this one conveniently placed pillar. <laughs> Even when I played this off camera, I was like, I know what I've got to do. Was just a dot on the map for me. To think that we didn't even know it existed. No time for chit chat, you lot. We're busy. Stay back, all right? Ready. Type of some superhuman strength. Whoa. That was liberating. Poor map. <laughs> but that's too bad because it was very old. Yes. Come on. Oh, do I not get to walk down there myself? Oh, well, I'm not going to complain. A hallway. It's 
been sealed. Sealed against what? Let's go see. The dark is afraid of you too. Just one light, and it's gone. Come on, we'll find the light. <clears throat> Look, this leads somewhere. Oh, this is it. I feel it. We're the first here in a long time. Don't let go of my hand. I won't. Don't worry. No, don't worry, little guy. You'll be all right. Just going to stop here for a second. One thing that does annoy me, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, I definitely said it to myself off camera, but Hugo continuously has a bad feeling about things, and he tells Amicia over and over again that he just wants to go back and he doesn't want to do things, and Amicia ignores him. I think I've already said, I might have already have said this, but it pisses me off. Like, he has got this virus, he's got this sickness, the macula, he can hear the rats, he can feel things that Amicia and Sophia and other characters can't feel, and yet they keep ignoring him. And every time they ignore, ignore him, stuff goes wrong, and it aggravates me. Like, it really pisses, it, make, it makes me angry with Amicia so bloody much. And it happens so much. I, it's already been happening in the game already, but it happens even more. Oh, flipping hell. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've already said that, but it really winds me up. And just because, oh, he's just a kid. Who cares? He's a, he's a kid with a very different set of circumstances, you know? And he's got this weird sickness that lets him do things that no one else can do. He knows things that you don't know. But no one listens to him. And it actually annoys me. People regularly don't listen to kids. And it actually pisses me off. I'll light it up. Yes, please. People seem to act like kids are stupid. I, I speak to my little cousins, you know? They're only 10 and 12. But they're very smart. I listen to them all the time. Very smart. People treat kids like they're idiots, and they're not. Obviously, there's certain Wait, things kids won't understand, happen. but oh, they understand a lot more than you think. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> what the hell? Look at the size of this place. What is this? Some sort of temple? It looks like it, yes. That was flipping cool how that lit up, though. Imagine exploring a place like this. On the ground, look. The order symbol again? Yes, this is the place. Basilius is here. Somewhere. Yeah, this is where the order brought Basilius. When he reached the last threshold of the uh, macula, if I remember correctly. The same place that Hugo is currently heading for. Here. Burn marks. There was a blast here. Was it an accident? I'd say they were blown open. Yes. Someone really wanted to get in. Let's see the rest. There was another blast here, too. The gate's destroyed. It has to be her. Alia. She escaped the chapel. She destroyed all this? She wanted to take Basilius back. She forced her way through. We're on her trail. No, it does make sense. It does make sense. There's space behind. Let's try through there. We're really going through there. Don't worry. It held for centuries. Going deeper. Hopefully we'll catch up with her somewhere. We'll see. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, calm down, Sophia. Mind the drop. Yes. Landslide. If that's her, she really shook the whole place up. She was scared for Basilius. She was right. Oh. It's stuck. Hey, wait. Those tanks. They held Greek fire. Isn't that a weapon? Not always. They must have used it to keep their lights burning. 
One is still sealed. You think it could explode in a tank like that? Yes. Let's try it against that door. Really? Uh, these walls held long enough. But... I've done my fair share of blowing things up, you know. There. Now take cover. Amicia, you handle the ignition. Are we far enough away? Yes, just keep your head down. Yeah, hopefully we don't cause a cave-in, you know, because as you mentioned, this place is very old. <laughs> That'll be a very weird ending to the game. They blow it up and everyone dies in a cave-in. What a funny ending that would be. That's flipping loud. It worked. That was loud. Hmm. It was Hugo. It's holding. Come on. It'll be fine. Oh, actually, I think you could find a knife in this area. Uh, yeah, you want Yeah, there's definitely a knife in this area. There's a skeleton somewhere. I remember taking a knife from him. And you want to grab the knife. And there's a feather as well, I think. But you want to grab the knife because later on in this area, there's once again one of those uh, workbench chests. The ones you need to open up for the Explorer trophy. Yeah, I think we need to go through here first. We need to blow open the door. But I think there's also a feather in one of these rooms. Or a flower? No, I think it's feathers from this point onwards. I think there's one more flower we need to find. But not for a long time Another yet. Another tank. Right, cover your ears, everyone. It's bloody loud. If you're wearing headphones, get ready. Cover my ears! Damn! Everybody alright? Guess so. All clear. Let's go back. I hear it very clearly, and my TV's practically mu muted. <laughs> right, if you come over here. Once again, cover your bloody ears, but there's, I think there's a feather in here. Unbelievable. Yes. Look, there are birds here? Yes, cave birds. Which means we're not alone here. And he's not alone either. Exactly. Let's keep going, and maybe we'll see it. If it hasn't been too scared. Yes. Oh, no, it's long gone. Oh, a European goldfinch. It's long gone, Amicia. There's no point in getting his hopes up. It's long gone after those explosions. Literally three of them. <laughs> He's gone. He ain't coming back, ever. Right, I think the knife might be out here, in one of the skulls. People? The Order's guard, probably. We found Alias trail again. She didn't like to take prisoners. They pushed her, I guess. You're just saying that to justify your own actions, um, um, Amicia. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Make sure you grab that knife because you're going to need it for the next chest. Especially if you're playing on hard difficulty because there is a lot less knives on hard difficulty. If you play on easy mode, uh, they do add a few more knives around the game. But they take a lot of them away on hard because knives can obviously save you from death. I think she came through here. Look, that cart's loaded with the same Greek fire tank we saw. Oh, that looks dangerous. Well, we're going to be releasing it because we need to get through that. Let's check. We need to get through that big old door. Look at that Greek fire on there. We're, we're going to die. <laughs> we're definitely going to have a cave in. Uh, it opens the book colours. Kurt is about to go. Well, off we go. Oh. It's open. I think. You know, I'm starting to see her in you, Alia. Because I'm. As desperate as her? Because you don't let go. <sighs> well. It's flipping hilarious how you all talk about Alia like you knew her. And you talk about her like she's your cousin or some shit. You don't flipping know her. Any of you. None of you know her. She could have been the biggest bitch on the planet. <laughs> oh, God. Man, look at this room. This is a bloody boss room. This is a Dark Souls Bloodborne boss room. This is an Elden Ring boss room. How is it even possible? What is this place? That gate over there will tell us. I want to know how they constructed this underground. Especially back in those days. They had no technology really. Mind you, look how they built the pyramids. Just blood, sweat and tears, literally. Alright, let me uh, light this up before we go down there. We shouldn't be here. Well, we are. No, 
Holy, look at them! Jesus! This is why the game's 30 wait, FPS. <laughs> so many rats. Wait, wait. Those fires, those rails. They built all this to keep them at bay. What? Yes, we can clear a path. If you say so. Where do we start? Right. Oh, man, I can't remember how to do this. I know we want to pull this one over. I think we want to... These braziers can be moved. Mounted on rails, fed by Greek fire. Clever. The order knows its way around rats. Yeah, these little, like, fiery... Let's see. These little fiery, uh paths on the floor they're basically uh, where you can move the carts so you can move them in certain positions right there's a chest over there I don't know if we want to bother trying to get to it I think we need to pull three of these over so we might as well get that done I think we need to do stuff with these two so that we can get rid of this rubble right here so that we can then move that cart all the way over to that door so we can then carry on towards hopefully Basilius. There's, uh, I think there's two artifact, uh, two souvenirs over there, maybe. So we're going to go over there. I think, I think it's souvenirs. There's definitely one souvenir over there. So we'll go over there as well. I might make this video a little bit longer just so we can get as close to... Uh, so you've seen that before? At the other end of the country? No coincidence, I imagine? No, the macula connects it all. Right, this is done. But so we can get as far into this place as possible. And then in the next video, we can uh, do a lot of the story stuff. Because there's going to be a lot of cutscenes after uh, this area, I think. Right. Um... Oh, no! I used a crossbow bolt. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't mean to do that. I wasted a crossbow bolt. I'm pissed off now. Okay. Right. Now, as you can see, there's like a little, a little, uh, it's like a mono rail or a train. Good. They can also be pushed. Give me a hand. Sure. Yes. Come on. But I think we need to remove. You, do you realize how many times those rats have tried to get us? Yes. A lot. But we always outsmarted them. Because they don't care about each other. And we do. Exactly, that's as far as it goes. Hey, there's a track that leads straight to the bridge. But this wreck seems to be in the middle. Let me see. I like how you was having a nice little sentimental moment then, and then the dialogue just completely switched to something else. <laughs> so loud. No more cart wreck. Just have to get to that other track now. I can't wait to see what lies beyond that bridge. I'm not sure that this carrier is the answer you need. How could he not be? Everything points here. Alien led us here. They're dead people pointing at each other. And they're all we have. The truth. I don't want to know the truth, Amicia. Oh, you too. Did I already... Did I already pull this? We might not need to, actually. I might be able to just use some tar. Nah. No. <laughs> I thought I already pulled... Didn't I, didn't I already pull this one over? No, oh, I guess I didn't. Because this place... Well, I am sure. I'm sure this carrier is why Hugo dreamt of this island. But most of all, I'm sure we have no other option. Fine. That was... Forget it. No, I'm really sorry. But we have to do this. Yes. Get angry. I'm not. I'm... Sad for you. Don't no. be. Mm, this is what I'm saying, you know. Let's switch direction. It's more like she's doing this for herself than Hugo, it feels like sometimes. Obviously, she is doing it for Hugo. She wants to try and find a cure for him, but sometimes it feels like she's more doing it for herself. But when you get over here, you can carry on and you can proceed with the story, but you want to turn um, 
right up here. Go over to that chest. So I think there's a couple of uh, things there. Might be a tool chest there as well, maybe. But there's definitely a souvenir over it. Very easy to miss this one. And it, it might even be... Might even be like a reference to the first game, possibly. Oh, it's Pyrite there. Here we go. It's a map of this place. You can see the tracks and braces. Not a map, a plan. You can see the mechanisms. There are others. There. It looks like the Chateau d'Ambrage, Amicia. You're right. It's the courtyard with all the braziers. And what are those? More plans. These ones have names. Denmark. Constantinople. This looks like Africa? Asia? I had no idea the order had spread so far. Because it can happen everywhere. What? A plague. Let's, let's go. Lovely. But yeah, that's the uh, chateau from the first game where you uh, spend a lot of your time. The safe place and there's a, a bunch of like puzzles similar to this one that keep the rats out of the uh, main building. I thought it was another thing over here to collect. Maybe it was just the uh, pyrite, maybe. Right, before we climb up there, I think we might have to do this from down here because the rats are right on the edge. <laughs> Very quick. I think I saw a bag of uh, pieces over there, but never mind. I'm not going to risk that. No way. Not with this amount of rats around. There must be a way to get rid of that wreck. Oh, we got rid of the wreck. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That was a dialogue option that didn't need to exist. <laughs> Here we go. We'll grab on then. I bet this place stinks. There's so much rat shit everywhere. Oh God, look at him, trying to nip at my feet. We're here. We've done it. Finally. Good work. Yes. Let's push forward. Oh, all the guards. I can't believe she took them on by herself. That girl must have been one fearsome fighter. She was committed. He was everything to her. Something bad was happening to him. She knew it. Do you know what it was? I just feel... Dark. Like in my dream. When I was dying. Lord, I hope she made it. Please, give us something. I mean, if you're feeling like that, Hugo, we should probably just leave. Man, she's lucky she didn't just get thrown over the edge of this bridge. Look at the amount of people she killed. God damn. Much better warrior than you, uh, Amicia. <laughs> Bet she actually had a sword, not a stupid slingshot. At least you got a crossbow this time. Bloody slingshot. <laughs> of all the weapons to bring with you, a slingshot. So. Should go back. Protect one, protect all. That's the writing from the fort's chapel. It's her. Alia. The carrier's protector. She really gave them hell. But she died alone. 
What's wrong, Hugo? I don't want you to die. I'm alive. I'm alive. Come on. You're a big boy. Let's have a look at that door. Hmm? I know how it feels. Fighting alone. Fighting not to be alone. I just hope you found peace where you are. You got any idea how we're gonna open this? We should go back. What? After all this? Come on. Are you feeling better? So, so. Hey, we're all tired, but we're together, right? Well, let's open this door. I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Muppets. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Muppets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.